Hey, if you've ever had a piece of your equipment just be a catastrophic fail, you know what, you know this is for you. So go ahead and just go ahead and hit like right now. I was making my own suppressor cover out of a welding blanket rated for like 900 degrees, which actually nothing ever ended up happening to the uh, welding blanket, worked fine. Some of the material that I had binding it together on the outside, I didn't do enough wraps with the welding. I just did two wraps, it should have been about four probably, and I melted part of it after firing a bunch of mags out at the range. Um, hey, but I was out there testing it, so it, it happens, but that's what it's for. Everybody remembers the SDN6 can. Um, I ended up ordering the burn proof gear. This is what comes with it. And I've already been using it and testing it out a little bit, but uh, I was out at the range and I didn't do like, you know, three mag dumps, like a lot of people do be like, oh, well the true test is, do you just do three mag dumps, you know, right, rapid fire or whatnot? No, I was running and shooting. You know, let's take a look at this video. So I was just running around shooting and I put several mags through it and probably about four or five mags within 10 minutes. So uh, it wasn't like rapid fire, but it, it got really hot enough that you could have cooked some meat on the suppressor if I didn't have the cover on there. And yes, it would have sheared your skin off basically or melted it off basically. But this is what it looks like once it goes on your uh, suppressor and you order one for the size suppressor you have and they have different ones on there. I think I got this, like I said, a Black Friday deal. I think it was like uh, 150 normally. I think 120 on Black Friday. And then of course you got to wrap it really tight and everything like that. And this is not a thing on how to wrap it, but you know what? I ended up testing it, like seeing what the, uh, the heat was on this. Take a look at this thermal image right here. Okay, as you see that, ended up being pretty warm, but it was never so hot that I could not grab a hold of it with my with my bare hand, no glove or anything. And I was like, okay, it's a little bit warm, it's getting a little bit hotter. After you put about five mags through it in 10 minutes, this thing is cooking pretty good, but it held up. And I had no problem ever holding it with my bare hand or if it touched my bare leg or something like that running, that it would have melted my skin off. Before firing that many rounds through this with no suppressor cover, if you've ever had it touch the back of your leg, uh, you know what's gonna happen. You know, if you had to touch the back of your leg, go ahead and hit subscribe right now because this is definitely for you. Uh, I'm not no promoter of burn proof gear, but I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. Even though it was expensive, it did its job and I was able to grab it and I have no qualms about running this thing and shooting a bunch and worried about it being slung behind me, touching my leg or anything. So that's been my experience with this burn proof gear. My biggest gripe on them is they're a little expensive. Can't you give people out there a little bit of discount burn proof gear? Yeah, that, that, I'm talking to y'all. Hey, come on, say say 10% off or something. Cause I mean, every little bit helps. Uh, hey, we're under, uh, under that inflation these days, but that's been my thoughts on the burn proof gear. Uh, if you've had different experience, let us know your thoughts. That's a record guy's opinion.